Hi everyone, welcome to Dig Designs tutorial. Today we'll be learning about the box model, which consists of a border, margin, and padding. Uh, so we'll get to all that today in this video tutorial. Okay, so here I have CodePen open. This is our HTML editor playground where we can actually edit our HTML CSS code on this side and have it previewed on this section instantaneously. So it'll be a great tool for showing you guys how this box model works and also for you to also use as a learning tool uh, at copepen.io okay um, so let's go ahead and play around with this bit okay so let's first pull up the box model so we can take a look at that okay so this is our box model here we have our content this could be anything uh, it could be our headline images uh, a box with a width and height this is where our content would be. The padding here is the space between the border and our content. Uh, the border is on the outside of our content if we didn't have the padding here. The margin here is always going to be on the outside of the border. Now the margin is normally used to create borders between you know an adjacent box. Okay, that would be the only time you would probably use margin or to kind of shift shift your box around different places okay so let's go ahead and go back to code pen and um, play with some of the rules and see how it affects our box our content okay so here I have a little setup going on um, I have a wrapper with the orange background and a box that we're gonna be playing around with uh, which is basically our content box it's got a width of 100, a height of 100, and a pink background, as you can see here, previewed on this section. Okay, so again, this is going to be our content. Now let's go ahead and add a border, so we know what's what's going on. Border. Okay, let's make this uh, five pixels solid, and let's make it black. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a bit thicker. Let's make it 10 pixels. Okay. So again, we have our content, 100, 100, and width and height. Now we have a border of 5 pixels, and it's solid. Now let's go ahead and open up our box model again. Okay, so here we have padding. So as we add a padding, it's going to increase the space between the content and the border. And we're going to see that now as we add that rule into our CSS. Okay, so let's put padding. Uh, maybe 20 pixels. Okay, now you see how that increased. As we add a padding, it's adding 20 pixels all around our content box. Okay, let's go ahead and increase that some more and see what happens. Okay, it gets bigger. It's just it's just adding space in between the content and the border. Uh, the basically the content's not going to change. It's just the padding around it. Okay, let's go ahead and actually just shift that back to normal. Okay, so without padding, it's just back to its regular 100 width, 100 height. So let's go ahead and play with our margin. Okay, shift the box on the outside okay as we add the margin 20 pixels okay so we added a margin all around 20 pixels on the top 20 pixels on the left 20 pixels bottom and right as we enter, enter this rule you saw how the box shifted um, by adding a margin all around so hopefully by playing with these margins and padding rules you saw how that affected our content box and and hopefully in your next HTML project you can be able to distinguish and use margin and padding uh, to your advantage so if you ever forget how this box model works go ahead and watch this video again on your next HTML project or you can easily easily search on Google box model and this basic setup should always be the same and on how to set that up and it would be very advantageous to to learn this box model as you code as it 
will become very useful in terms of shifting things into areas where you want it to be. So hopefully in this tutorial I was able to show you how the box model worked and demonstrating to you how padding margin played a, played a role and where the border related in between there. So you like my video and you found it very helpful, definitely please subscribe. I will be having additional videos made every week on basic HTML and CSS. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.